Hey everybody, how's it going? In today's video, we'll have a look at a new bonus series, Acura Ascension, featuring the brand new Acura NSX Type S that uh, currently uh, is featured as a limited series uh, car to win. All right, so upon winning the car, you get the bonus series unlocked. And yes, it is a single car bonus series, meaning uh, you have to own the car to unlock the series. And there is no uh, showcase discount available because, well, I mean, it is something that would be available in the bonus series. But since, you know, in order to unlock it, you already have to own the car. So it doesn't quite work out, right? So anyway, under season three uh, subheading, right? Acura Ascension. And what we have, the finale of a groundbreaking series is ready to attain glory. Okay, so pretty short description there. So um, another 20 tier bonus series. And even though it is a single car bonus series, there are two uh, time trial tiers, as you can see here in, uh, what is it, tier seven? And I want to say tier 14, right? So, and then showcase tier has the usual two races. So that, um, so yeah, tier six, the, the tier before the first, uh, time trial is the showcase, but obviously you only need one showcase, uh, tier. So tier 13, the one that comes before the second time trial is not a showcase tier, meaning there are three, uh, races in that tier. So that brings the total number of events to 55. So that is two time trials and 53 trophy events. All right, so uh, total rewards, there are some 77 gold available. So uh, the last uh, overview that I did in the new season, the, the one that's featuring the Yesco Absolute, right? That one featured about 78 gold for the 100% completion and it cost you a whole lot more than uh, what it would cost you to complete this one to, uh, I guess, recoup 77 gold. So in that sense, um, I guess the reward is a little bit more in our favor that way, if you want to think about it that way. Um, but anyway, so and the PR requirement to attain the 100% completion here is 64.2. So um, in order to do that after winning the car, because you already have spent 383 gold to meet the PR requirement of 62 in the current rendition of the limited series, uh, that means you have to spend additional 136 gold. Basically, you have to max out the, the body so you need to get a gold upgrade, stage four gold upgrade there, and then, you know, get the stage five upgrade, which is racing dollar upgrade on the body. And then you have to uh, get the gold upgrade, stage two gold upgrade on suspension and get the stage three racing dollar upgrade on suspension. So that's where uh, additional uh, 136 gold, uh, gold cost comes from. Uh, then, uh, but without adding any more upgrades, uh, with a PR 62, you should be able to almost nearly complete this bonus series. Um, because the, you know, at least all the, like up to 75% completion, um, I believe PR requirement to attain 75% completion is 60.8. So, you know, you're well above that, uh, how you win the car, you know, but of course, if you're watching this video in the future, uh, where this car is not available for, um, to win through an event, but you have to purchase the car, then obviously you, your car would not have, uh, upgrades available already on board the car. So then uh, you would have to spend extra to get there, I suppose. But anyway, um, There'll be a separate scenario in the future, so we won't talk about that for now. Um, so the, yeah, so that's the the sort of the math here. 
Um, and I'll have all the like detail information in the description box below. So if you guys want to just kind of, you know, look at the actual numbers in terms of cost and rewards, you know, you can just look in there. But uh, for now, let's, uh, for the remainder of the video, we'll just kind of go through each tier. Uh, I won't do any racing in this video, but we'll just kind of skip each tier with the, with the gold, you know, and see what type of events we're expecting to see here. So tier one, we got speed snap at Catalonia Grand Prix, followed by speed record at Bugatti Circuit, a night race, and then cup for tier one taking place at, um, down in Florida. Daytona International Speedway, road course. We don't really get the Speedway races much anymore, do we? Eh, it's okay. Uh, and it's going to be a two-lap cup. And of course, uh, Tier 1, no PR requirement. Let's take a look at Tier 2. We got head-to-head -head at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. And that should be a single lapper. There it is. Followed by another single lap race, Hunter at the uh, Laguna Seca with a new new-ish uh, sunset um, rendering and then cup for tier two is at Porsche test track dynamic circuit PR 51.3 required and it's gonna be a three lap and that takes us to tier three we got endurance at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix followed by autocross at Daytona motorcycle course and the cup at Mount Panorama, a night race. Um, so yeah, night race at Mount Panorama is kind of a cool new addition to the, to the game. I think they kind of did it quietly. They never like, um, mentioned it anywhere, but it just kind of appeared in the game, which is kind of cool. Um, you know what would be cool? I know this is not gonna happen, but uh, we do have the old, the Australian supercar series. If we get the night race at Mount Panorama for that series, that would be kind of cool. Um, but I know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I feel like that series has been kind of long buried. I'll have to go do my playthrough of that series in the in the near future, maybe. Um, I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in it. Anyway, uh, for now, let's stick to the task at hand here. That is Acura Ascension bonus series. So anyway, uh, PR 52.4 is required for this Mount Panorama Cup, uh, two lap cup that is. All right, and um, moving on. Tier four, we got uh, let's see. Yeah, I think tier four, this is the first tier that with, uh, in, in case you purchase this car instead of winning it and you just put the stage one racing dollar upgrades only, then this is where you're going to essentially get stuck because, uh, with the racing dollar upgrades alone, the Acura goes NSX type S only goes up to, um, 53.3. And of course here, the cup requires PR 53.4. So this is the first tier that uh, gold upgrades are required. Um, but for the rest of us who has, who have won this car, well, you know, you already have enough upgrades to complete 75%. So it's a moot point. But anyway, tier four, we got speed record at Silverstone Grand Prix, followed by elimination and Hockenheim National. And of course it's Hockenheim, so it's a night race. Um, and the cup at Catalunya club circuit. So very short circuit, three laps. All right, moving on tier five, we got Hunter at Dubai international speed snap at Lime Rock park road course. So road course layout is the one without the, any of the chicanes, you know, because there are two chicanes in certain on, uh, at Lime Rock park, right? So, uh, let's see, South circuit, right? South course is the one with the, the sharper chicane earlier. And then the, what's the other one? West circuit 
or west course is the one that has the later a um, little bit more wider chicane right so and the road course is the one that's the fastest because it doesn't have any sharp chicanes right that's one way to kind of keep track of uh which layout you're racing in because uh yeah those chicanes kind of you know they're not as easy to spot if you're not familiar with the circuit layout and the name so there you go that's that's how i remember it anyway uh and then the cup at tier 5 taking place at dubai national pr 54.2 required for this double lap cup and that takes us to the showcase tier here what tier is this six right where we have a drag race taking place at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit and the proper cup at Manza Junior course. Five laps. All right, so that's a pretty short circuit. So, and then the following accompanying time trial, tier seven, is going to take place at Daytona Motorcycle course. All right. And that takes us to tier eight. We got speed snap at long on-road circuit of Porsche test track uh, and speed record at Suzuka Grand Prix. So that's a full lap. And the cup at Circuit of the Americas Club circuit. So that's the sort of the back half of the circuit, the shorter, shortest layout. Uh, PR 56.3 required for the five lap cup. Moving on, tier nine. What do we have? We got elimination at Dubai Club Circuit. Uh, another drag race. This one at Dubai Grand Prix. And the Cup for Tier 9 is at Hockenheim Grand Prix. Not night race, notably. Uh, PR 57 required for the four lap cup. That's, uh, I mean, Hockenheim, given it's not the longest circuit, but four laps at a Grand Prix circuit. That is so far uh, the longest one we've seen in this series. So perhaps uh, we're going to get some extended length race in the second half of this series. Let's find out. Uh, so tier 10, we got Hunter at Lime Rock Park Road Course. Once again, that's the layout without any sharp chicanes. Uh, autocross, this one taking place at West Circuit. So that one is the, the wider chicane on the the later part of the circuit right and then the cup at indianapolis motor speedway so the brickyard pr 57.6 required and what's the lap count three laps so that's not as long as uh, five laps at hokanan grand prix but yeah we got some we got a bit of mixed mixed length here uh tier 11 uh, we got Speed Snap at Laguna Seca. Speed Record at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit. And the Cup at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. PR 58.3 required. And the lap count of 5. So we're back to kind of a shorter races. So I guess Hockenheim one was kind of an outlier. Um, uh, so far it is. Because the other races are all relatively short. I would say. All right, that takes us to next tier, tier 12. We got endurance at Catalonia National, elimination at short on-road circuit of Porsche Test Track, and cup at Lime Rock Park West Circuit, PR 58.9 required for yet another five short laps there. Moving on to tier 13, we got head-to-head -head at Hockenheim, short, and yes, it is a night race, I'm telling you single lap autocross at spa and cup at bugatti circuit pr 59.5 required for the three laps around bugatti circuit and that takes us to tier 14 the other time trial tier this one is going to be at laguna seca all right next tier 15 all right we got Elimination at Mount Panorama, Hunter at Catalonia Club Circuit, and the Cup at Melbourne, 
PR 60.8 required uh, for five laps. So Melbourne, once again, medium length circuit, so not the longest. Let's see, would five laps at Melbourne be longer race than three laps? What was that again? Uh, Hockenheim? Yeah, four laps. Yeah, I think Hockenheim Grand Prix, four laps is going to be longer than five laps at Melbourne. Anyway, so yeah, that, that race is definitely an outlier so far. <laughs> kind of a longer race stuck in the middle of the t uh, the series here. Anyway, uh, tier 16, we got speed record at Monza Junior course. So it's a quick lap there. Head to head at Nürburgring Grand Prix. So that's another quick single lap race. Followed by Cup S Suzuka East. PR 61.4 required for six laps. Uh, six quick laps right and then tier 17 all right so this is where we're gonna get stuck in terms of with the limited series pr of 62 because as you can see 62.1 is required to get past this tier although because of the showcase tier we might be able to unlock tier 18 um with uh without necessarily having to complete the cup in tier 17 um, which means we get to unlock two more races or race two more races in the tier 18. Anyway, um, I mean, by this point, you already have completed 75% completion. So in a way, it doesn't really make that big of a difference in terms of uh, rewards wise, but I guess you will have access to more races, which is nice. Right. Anyway, tier 17, we got Hunter at Monza Junior course, a lot of Monza Junior course events in this series. Uh, we got Endurance at Bugatti Circuit and the Cup 4 Tier 17 at Spa, PR 62.1 required. And how many laps we got? Three laps. And this is where, as you can see, we get stuck. So that would be a fun race, but you would have to pay to play. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Moving on to Tier 18. What do we have? We got Autocross at Porsche Test Track, short on-road circuit. Um, elimination at Suzuka Grand Prix and Cup at Silverstone Bridge Grand Prix circuit. Uh, PR 62.7 required for this four lap cup here. So that is by far the longest race so far. Uh, and then tier 19, we got a uh, third installment of a drag race. I think it's a third one uh, at the Brickyard Road Course. We have Speed Snap at Hockenheim National, followed by Cup at Nürburgring Grand Prix, PR 63.5 required, four laps, maybe? Four laps. Yeah, so that is certainly the longest race here. But yeah, uh, the trend is, other than that Hockenheim Grand Prix Cup that had four laps earlier in Tier 9, the all the other like uh, uh, proper length races are all going to be kind of pay to play here since they are kind of locked behind the PR uh, wall. Anyway, tier 20, the final tier, we got endurance at uh, Nürburgring sprint circuit, uh, hunter or not hunter, head to head at Daytona road course, uh, single lap, followed by the cup, the final cup taking place at Laguna Seca. PR 64.2 required, and it's going to be a six lap cup. And if you want to 100% complete, as I said at the beginning of this video, you would need to max out body and bring suspension up to stage three, right? And then everything else is fine the way you won the car. So there you go. So, uh, uh, and in terms of like at which uh, completion of which tier you get to claim these uh, rewards uh, here. So first um, you get to claim the 25% completion in tier 5 but you don't have to do the cup so it's the PR 53.4 that's what's required uh, for first 25% completion which gets you 9 gold and 9,000 racing dollars and 50% completion, you'll reach that uh, when you're reaching, uh, when you're in tier 11. 
So uh, you don't, once again, kind of the same scenario, you don't actually have to do the cup to claim the 50% completion reward, which is 15 additional gold and 15,000 racing dollars. Uh, so for that, you need PR 57.6, right? And then the 75% completion, uh, you will attain that in tier 16. But once again, you don't have to complete that race, uh, the cup that is. So 75% completion PR requirement would be 60.8. And that gets you additional 21 gold and 21,000 racing dollars. And then of course, 100% completion. Well, it's pretty straightforward. You need PR 64.2, and then it gets you the remaining 32 gold and 32,000 racing dollars. So uh, the way you, we wonder if you completed the limited series to win this car, uh, you will be able to get 75% done, which means uh, what you, there's some 40 gold to be won. 77 gold total, but you know, the final 100% completion gets you the 32 at the end, 32 gold at the end. So, you know, 77 minus 32, 40. So you get to pick up additional 30 gold. So when you're, uh, if you're kind of sitting on a fence about like whether you want to run through the limited series to win this car, um, which does cost you 383 gold but of course in that bonus uh, limited series um, there's a 40 gold reward so the net cost is 343 but here's another 40 that you can get which brings down the net cost of ownership of this car down to 303 gold so something to consider anyway that'll do it for this video thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one Take care.